Hey everybody, this is Paintball Dad. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I just wanted to talk about a topic that's kind of an old one, but it was recently revitalized to me through a podcast that I follow called The Center 50, which is uh, some local guys that talk about paintball. And they were talking about the age-old topic of, is paintball a sport? And that kind of brought up some memories for me because back in my college days, which was like between 2005 and 2009, I was a psychology major and I minored in sociology and one of my classes that I had to take um, was called sociology of sports and so I took this class thinking that you know it would be something fun enjoyable and fairly easy and one day there was a, an assignment that we had it was like a, a paper that was worth a really hefty amount of our of our overall grade for that class and the topic was to pick your favorite sport and describe why it is a sport what actually makes it a sport now we had been talking throughout that class about what makes a sport and we stuck to a pretty traditional definition which if you go on google and just type in sport definition you'll what you'll see is a sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. And so by that definition, I had argued that paintball is a sport because paintball, for one, shows a lot of physical exertion. You got a lot of, whether you're playing woods ball or speed ball, there's physical exertion. You've got a lot of leg muscles that you're using, uh, crouching, kneeling, running, um, crawling, you know, you use your upper body and your lower body. You're carrying the gun around, which isn't very heavy, but like after a while, it does feel heavy. Like you will, you will work out your entire body playing paintball. And it, the second part of that definition, it does involve a skill, multiple skills. There's skills as far as communicating with your team, working on your aggression, how to maneuver up and down the field, working on your gunfighting skills, making, uh, teaching yourself how to switch hands, become ambidextrous. There's a lot of different skills that you can pick up that will make you better at the game. And then of course, to round it off with, the, with that definition, it has individuals or teams competing against others for entertainment. So 100%, it fit the definition of a sport. I even went further from what I could remember to explain that paintball also has a scoring system, just like any other sport that we recognize, you know, whether it's football, soccer, baseball, hockey, um, they all have a scoring system. Paintball has a scoring system too. And even the more non-traditional sports like skateboarding and snowboarding, um, ice skating, uh, they all have some type of scoring system as well. It's a little bit different because, you know, you might have a judge who determines how many points a certain stunt or trick is worth as opposed to just like simply, you know, shooting a ball into a net and that's worth however many points. It's still some kind of a solid uh, scoring system that is universal throughout the sport. I ended up getting a D minus in that paper and my professor wrote in red in red ink paintball is not a sport I was pretty upset about that and I remember a lot of my classmates also got low marks on that paper as well so it didn't seem to be like it, it didn't seem to us like he was being fair it seemed like he had some kind of bias um, he was an older kind of guy he was a football player back in his prime and I think he just didn't want to you know uh, basically recognize that the face of sports have been changing but even back then there was still lots of sports that really kind of pushed the boundaries of the traditional definition i mean i'm sure he would have agreed that golf was a sport nascar driving was a sport and those are two things that you know really don't have a whole lot of physical exertion definitely they have skill but not so much physical exertion and nowadays, even more so, you pushing the boundaries, you'll see esports. Esports, I mean, you're a gamer. You're not really doing much physical exertion at all, except for like working your hands on the remote control. But there is a lot of skill. And, you know, for all those things, I'm not saying any of these things are not sports. I'm actually saying that we do recognize all of these things as sports. 
So more so, I was offended that I failed that paper and was told that paintball is not a sport. But the fact of the matter is, there are a lot of people out there who don't recognize that it's a sport. And I think that bias kind of comes from the fact that most people just play it as a one-and-done one kind of game. But determining whether or not it's a sport has nothing to do with the level of frequency that you play. I've only played golf maybe a handful of times in my life. It's a, it's a game to me. But I also recognize that it still is a sport. There are people who play it professionally, who do it full time. And actually the same thing with paintball. You know, I think a lot of people just don't recognize that there are people who play paintball professionally, who make a living off of this. And back in my day when I was in college, there was even a thriving college league. And I was actually one of the founding members of my own college's paintball team. Um, nowadays, I don't think the college league is doing so well, but so you have a game that has, has or had professional leagues, college leagues, recreational leagues, uh, monetized sponsorships, but yet just because of the lack of information, I think is really the reason why most people don't think of it as a sport. It's one of those things that like doesn't get enough publicity and that's something that paintball has struggled with for a long time i don't know what happened between then and now between my day and the current day because like i remember when i was growing up and i, I first got into paintball it exploded there was a paintball shop that opened up in my hometown there was a movie that came out like a low budget b-rate movie called splat there was the video game, the Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball video game for Xbox. It was on ESPN, and then I found out there was a college league. Like, it was everywhere. There was not much, you know, excuse for denying that it was a sport. Now, I don't know what's happened, that it's just kind of gone under. Really, the only place that I see paintball anymore is just YouTube. There's not any more, like, of a video game presence, um, nothing on TV. The only place I see it is on like social media. And that's kind of a sad thing, but nonetheless, you know, this going back to the main topic. Yeah, paintball is definitely a sport. And uh, I'm I hope that this information, you know, goes out to like parents who have young kids who are getting into paintball as well, because that is the main focus of my channel, is that I want to educate parents on how to cultivate their child's desire for playing paintball. And I actually hope that my kids get, you know, serious about paintball too. I just took my my sons to the paintball field this past weekend that I had practice with my team during our off season, and I gave them some time to play with the, J the JT Splatmasters. I really hope that my son sticks with paintball because he's obviously got some natural talent for it, and I think he'll be great when he gets older and plays regular paintball. I think he can be, you know, the next like pro player if he really wanted to be. There's a lot of potential in this sport if you really want to go, you know, um, full throttle with it.